Hello all. Welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer software testing interview question 60. That is, what are drivers? Let me answer. Drivers are used in one of these integration testing approaches. There are different integration testing approaches that developers follow for performing the integration testing. They are top-down integration testing approach, bottom-up integration testing approach, then we have the sandwich integration testing approach, big bang integration testing approach. Any of these integration testing approaches the developers may use for performing the integration testing. Out of all these integration testing approaches, where the drivers are used, drivers are used in the bottom up integration testing approach. But what exactly are these drivers and why they have to be used inside this bottom up integration testing approach? Let me explain now. Okay. So, guys, here, as you can see, there's a box, and uh, here I mentioned bottom up, which states bottom up integration testing approach. As part of bottom up integration testing approach, the developers, while performing the integration testing, will integrate the low level units okay the lower level units developers will integrate this lower level units with their higher level units okay the next level higher higher level units this lower level units will be integrated with their higher level units like this okay developers will integrate this lower level units with the somehow logically they will integrate guys so it's ideal case but logically developers will integrate this lower level units with the higher level units and uh, this higher level units again will be integrated with their higher level units okay like this somehow they will be integrated okay this lower level units will be integrated with the higher level units and so on guys and so on it keeps on going up okay so here each and every circle here is a unit phase, okay so units are getting integrated as part of this integration testing that is a bottom up integration testing lower level lower level integrate lower level units are getting integrated with the higher level units okay so all good so far so good but what if while performing the bottom up integration testing for example this particular unit is not ready okay it's taking a lot of time okay this is a very complex unit and uh, this particular piece of unit is not ready guys okay so in that case what developers will not stop the bottom up integration testing just because this particular unit or a set of units are not ready so what the developers will do is they will use something known as drivers they will create something known as drivers guys okay driver or drivers here okay driver or drivers they will use here so the, what are these drivers? Drivers are nothing but, okay, in case of the bottom-up integration testing, if a few units are not available and they're blocking you from continuing with the bottom-up integration testing, in that case, developers are going to use drivers, which are nothing but the temporary or dummy programs, okay? What are these drivers? Drivers are nothing, not the real units, okay? Drivers are not, not the real units, they are temporary programs, okay? Temporary programs used until these uh, units are available for integration, till then, Instead of uh, stopping this integration process or testing process, uh, what they will do is the developers are going to create these drivers, okay, which are very simple things, guys. Okay, simple temporary programs, dummy programs, which just take input and give output. That kind of uh, drivers they are, okay, they are dummy stuff. So in place of this real unit, they are going to use drivers until the real units get available, okay. So so that the integration testing will continue. So that's what I, that's what are drivers, guys. Okay, until the units are ready, developers are going to use drivers which are temporary programs or dummy programs okay for continuing their integration testing as part of the bottom up integration testing approach but uh, if you are using if the developers are following the top down integration testing approach as part of integration testing they, uh, there is something alternative to drivers guys we call them as steps okay in case of uh, top down we call them as steps guys okay these are also same thing guys these are also the temporary programs used when units are not ready okay so steps in case of top down integration testing approach we have to name them as we have to call them as steps in case of bottom up integration testing we have to call them as drivers what about sandwich in sandwich case sandwich is a combination of top down and bottom up so hence both will be there okay sandwich is a combination of top down and uh, bottom ups that's why both stop sign drivers will be used okay which are nothing but temporary programs so hope guys you got the idea what exactly are drivers now so that's all for this session in the next session i'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you till then see you bye bye